We have a really common exam question that shows up when teacher is asking to find the remainder giving a big long polynomial divided by something else. The trick is you have to know what the remainder theorem is. Otherwise, dividing x minus one with this thing, it's nearly impossible because it's x to the seventy ninth power, and there will be a lot of terms in between. Uh, just to write it out, it would be in tedious way. So let's do a quick analysis and say how we go about uh, solving this type of problem and what the shortcut is. The analysis looks something like this. If we have a division, 7 divided by 3, we have a quotient of 2 and remainder of 1. So basically we are rewriting 7 as uh, 3 times the quotient plus the remainder. Well, remainder theorem says the same thing when it comes to a big long polynomials. Whatever we're dividing it by, we'll have a quotient and we'll have a reminder. Now, as you notice, if I were to evaluate this function left side and right side with x equal to 1, and then this chunk goes to 0, since 0 times whatever the quotient is gets to be 0, remainder is left over on this side. So all I have to do is evaluate the function at x minus 1 or actually evaluate the function at x equal to 1. All right, let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. We're going to rewrite this one into whatever we ask to divide times the quotient. We don't really care what the quotient is plus the remainder. And then we're going to evaluate this big long thing over here that I rewrite into at x equal to 1 because we wanted this chunk to go to 0. When it's evaluated at x equal to uh, 1, this side becomes just a 0 plus the remainder. On the left hand side, we evaluate the function at x equal to 1. Substituting 1 in there for x, we have 9 on this side and remainder therefore is equal to 9. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please come and share or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.